With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's start this question. Now what the question says is, in the electrolytic decomposition of dilute sulfuric acid with platinum electrode, we have to tell the cathodic reaction. Now we are given dilute sulfuric acid that is H2SO4 in aqueous form. Now H2SO4 in aqueous form means we have H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid as well as we have water because we are given that the H2SO4 is dilute. Now there are two possible cases of dissociation. H2SO4 will dissociate into H positive ion 2H positive plus SO4 2 negative whereas water that is H2O will dissociate into H positive plus OH negative. These are the two cases. Now we know that in electrolytic decomposition we have two rods anode and cathode. Now cathode at cathode reduction takes place reduction reaction whereas at anode oxidation reaction takes place. Now we have to tell the cathode cathodic reaction. Now we know that in electrolytic decomposition the cathode is negatively charged. This is negatively charged whereas the anode is positively charged. Positively charged. Now we know that opposite ions attract each other. So at cathode it will attract H positive ions. H positive ions will be at cathode because in both the reactions the positive part is the H positive part and in the node the negatively charged particle that is the SO4 2 negative ion as well as OH negative ion will be present. Now we know that at cathode reduction takes place and we have the only one which can undergo reduction that is H positive. So the reaction at cathode will be H positive 2 H positive plus 2 electron will give rise to H2. So this is the reaction that will take place at cathode. Now we can see that charge is balanced and the reaction is balanced. So this is the cathodic reaction which means that at cathode the reduction of H positive will take place. Now the first option will be correct and the second option is oxidation of SO4 to negative. Now we are given that at cathode reduction takes place so oxidation can never be the answer so the option number b and option number d are incorrect now in c option we are given so4 so3 2 negative it cannot be the answer but we will check out what reaction will take place at anode now there are two possibilities for reaction at anode first is for oxidation of so4 2 negative and second is oxidation of oh negative now for so4 2 negative the reaction that is possible is will be SO4 2 negative plus H positive ion will give rise to H2O plus SO2 plus 4 electrons. Now here are 4 H positive. Now this is the reaction that will take place and we for this reaction the electrode potential or the reduction potential is 1.21 electron volt standard reduction potential and the second case is OH negative ion 4 OH negative ion will be 2 H2O plus O2 plus 4 electron that is the evolution of SO2 can take place or the evolution of O2 can take takes place now for this reaction the value of E0 is 0 volt that is the standard value now here oxidation is taking place and this E0 is the standard for reduction value. So lower will be the reduction value, higher will be the oxidation value because these are oppositely linked. So the reduction value is lower for OH negative. So the evolution of O2 will take place. That is O2 will be evolved at anode, O2 at anode. And this H positive was at cathode. 
so the correct answer will be at cathode reduction of h positive takes place thank you so much for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today